Today, we'll explore the benefits and techniques of converting spoof files into PDF files from an LQ that is being monitored by our IPDF monitoring engine and sending the resulting files to a directory on your IBM I or network. Hi, I'm Orlando Ferrer with Informed Decisions. Follow me as I share document management tips so you can take advantage of helpful techniques when it comes to managing the look and efficiency of your organization's documents. Why is today's Topic important, automating document sharing with other systems frees up the time of your end users so they can go on and do other productive tasks. They hand off to other software modules like accounting systems, capture systems, workflow, and other departments is an increasing practice within the ecosystem of many IT departments. And here's an easy way to make that happen. As you, we go into an actual demonstration, we're gonna take three files that are our inside our actual LQ, and we're gonna actually submit a job to convert those files into a PDF. We'll go into actually using our IPDF monitor and API, which actually can be used within a CL program, other programs, or as a submitted job. As we go into the details, we'll have a LQ call handoff, which we're gonna be monitoring. We're going to set this to go to a directory path, so our PDF files end up in this directory. This can be within the IBM I and the IFS, or it could end up in a network path as well. As long as you have access to that network path, we can send it there. This actually works with data queue engine as a data queue, so we're going to have our data queue information there. And we're going to prefix the naming convention of the PDF file name with your new PDF. You can have this blank or have a name in there. The files that will end up in our directory will be appended so they accumulate in that directory. You also have an option to override it if you over want to override the files that go into that directory. In our case, we won't. The files that are gonna be converted will be converted into a PDF. You do have an option of converting those files into a TIFF file. And as these files wish, are getting processed from our handoff LQ will be going through um, and getting processed and converted, they can either be deleted or sent off to a different LQ for a different process, a handoff or anything else you want or for just simple archiving. Now, additionally, we're going to add to our naming convention and some parameters from our spoof file. We have spoof file attributes, which we can add to the naming convention. In this case, I'm gonna add the file name as part of all this. So I'm gonna submit our job. Our engine is now running, and it's just as simple as taking our files, moving them over to the LQ, which we will be monitoring. And that is right there, if I spelled that correctly. And we'll send those off. As they get processed, they'll return to our archive LQ. And I actually have a shared file right into my IBM I. And if I refresh this, I should expect to see three files. And there they are. Here's our prefix, the naming of the file, and a PDF. If I go to open them, we'll have that directly go from our IBM I into my PC here locally. This can again be something that's shared with other systems. There's our PDF. Now, if you wanna find out more information about this process or anything else, please come and visit us at informeddecisions.com or simply give us a call at 949-709-5838. Again, thank you for your time. My name is Orlando Ferrer from Informed Decisions and stay tuned for additional tips and techniques that will help you in your document management software.